you call it? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, everybody. We're going to Edinburgh for the national championships, and it's a very delightful angle because I get awkward in a social space, so I put it on 0.5, and now I'm really close to the camera. He hasn't even had a coffee either. I haven't. This is pre coffee, pre breakfast, pre everything. Shambles, really. Anyway, we're going to eat. Ah! So me and Matty made it to our pad for the week-ish and now I'll, I'll give you a little, quick little tour. Right, come in through the door. Here, come in through the door. Walk in and we've got bedroom number one, my room. Bedroom number two. So everyone's disappointment, I'm not sharing, sorry. Uh -huh. No, but there's no wall here. That's what they don't know. It's behind here, there's no wall. So we're just here staring at each other. In fact, that's quite a funny video. We should play a game here. Like, you know, when they play um, Mr. and Mrs., but Mr. and Mr., and we have to choose something, and then I'll be stood here, you'll be stood there. Yeah. It's quite funny. I've got yeah, I've got mine too. Ooh. Right, bathroom number one. Ooh. Bathroom number two. Lost the lid up. Sorry, mate. I had a wee already. Mm. And then. We're in here. Oh, Matty's propped the door open. Isn't that cute? Got a little kitchen with the knives on the wall. Perfect for when people come break in and want to murder us. It's just ready to kill us. And little living room, which I think is quite cute. This is a nice little setup. We'll be sitting here watching TV in the evenings. We'll be cooking. We'll be doing it all. I don't know what we're going to cook. And I feel like we should alternate. We should alternate who's going to cook each day. Yeah, my vlog, the, the meals. The meals! There you go. There we, go. we are on the way to training! We are. You're in a yellow box. Yeah, but what is it? Obviously, stopping, you know what I mean? Yeah, but you're in a yellow box. I'm gonna just pull out more. Oh, there's police here. Is that police? No. Don't say it. We're on the way to training. Thumbs. Oh, Passenger oh, princess. Uh, Someone's running across the field. Oh! <laughs> Matty's a bit. No, I'm not. Matty's a bit aggressive with the way he pulls away. No, a little bit, yeah. It fell off. Um, okay, um, so it was aggressive. It made us stop recording. No, the funny thing is, is Tom's one of those passengers that ever any slight brake or acceleration is like. <laughs> <laughs> you did that, you know, I didn't you remember? <laughs> I just let my body be a passenger in a car. <laughs> so if I start braking, you'll see him, we'll be like, basically, nose up against that camp. Yeah, that would be. Oh, so we're going to, well, we're on our way to training. It's hard to film training because, like, obviously the pool's really busy, so I can't just be, like, flopping my tripod out everywhere. So we'll see what training gets filmed over this next period of time, but more we're going to deal with outside of the pool. Because later on today we're going to be going to play darts, isn't it? Yeah, flight club. Play darts, yeah. Lovely. I can't play darts. 
somebody will be getting a dart in their eye probably from me. Not on purpose of course, but just as a caution. I think people should wear protective safety goggles. Hold it, hold I'm gonna hold, hold that hold there because that's gonna fly away. That was the slowest acceleration. Yeah, it's always gonna fall, isn't it? Yeah, let's try this. Um, uh, oh, that was a nice little brief. In Edinburgh, there's so many lights. So many lights stopping and starting. And you can't mm. see any of the road markings at night. Has anybody seen that video? The. What a sap! What a sap! Because whenever I come to Scotland, that's the first video that comes into my head. If you haven't seen the video, this one. If you're able to find it. Wow, that was magic. How did you do that? <laughs> what a sap! <laughs> what a sap! What a um, so, yeah, anyway. I'm gonna turn it off now because my Yeah, I'm about to accelerate and it's just gonna fall off. The track! B1. B1. I've recorded it now. So, we've just. Well, we finished training and now we are going as a team to play darts. So, like I was saying before, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be absolutely terrible, but it'll be a laugh, won't it? We'll be a laugh. It'll be a great laugh. Ooh. for the win. Oh, we need a four. Let's see that again. Here he is. For the shot. So Kyle, Tom for the win. So there we have it. I was actually better than I thought I was going to be at the old darts thing. I got a couple of shots that was actually on target, so I'm pretty happy with that. And then, I mean, the others have walked away. Matty's just here chilling. Chilling. Matty was on the other darts board. I was. But I could see he was having a good time. So it was lovely. One more day of training and then it's time to compete. Right, so. Day before the competition, we just finished our training session. No one, Matty, looked at me like, what the hell I'm doing? But I was going to explain to you what a dive sheet looks like. So a dive sheet is basically what we have to submit before a competition in order to know what dives we're going to be doing. So this is our dive sheet. It's got our names, our date of birth. Yes, Noah's six years younger than he is born in 2000. Disgusting. And so here's our dives. We've got an inward one and a half somersault pike, a back one and a half somersault half twist, an inward three and a half. Back to and a half reverse, three and a half and forward, four and a half somersaults. Now you can also see, I will explain now if I turn around. Here are the dives, the shape, so that's pike, free position, tuck, pike, tuck, tuck. The height we're doing it from, which is 10 meters, and these are the degree of difficulty. The first two in synchro have a limit of 2 0, and then the rest are unlimited, so we've got a 3 2, a 3 6, a 3 4, and a 3 7. Then here there is room for three individual. Um, execution scores for the first diver and then three ind individual execution scores for second diver and then here are all the synchro scores and then there'll be a total and it'll all end up here and I'm about to sign it because we have to submit it 24 hours before entering so yay good morning it is <clears throat> what time is it it's light which means it's after 8 30 <laughs> here in Scotland because I can't believe that, I mean, it stays dark pretty late in London too, but at the moment it stays dark until like 8.35 or something, 8.38 in the morning, which is really weird and it gets dark by like 3.30. Anyway, <clears throat> today's competition day. My first proper competition in two and a half years. So Matty's already training because he's injured, so he's doing his training session a little bit earlier. So I'm diving with Noah today. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited, a little bit nervous and also, just, it's all the way in the evening at 6 p.m. tonight, so I'm kind of just like sitting here like thinking, what am I gonna do all day? So I've been like packing, I've just had breakfast, I just had my usual scrambled eggs, some like raisin bran stuff and some Cheerios all mixed in, not in the eggs, but like separately. So just gonna sit and have some coffee, I'm probably gonna knit and chill uh, for a little bit and then have some lunch and then head to the pool. I'm gonna have some treatment with physio, but yeah, it's all exciting stuff. It's all happening. Um, it's the national championships. We're here in Edinburgh, and I'm kind of excited. 
The thing that I'm making at the moment is like a um, like a cable jumper. Like I'm having, having a little play with some cables because I, I don't know whether it's going to be a jumper or if it's just going to be a. I don't even know what it's going to be. It's either going to be a jumper or it's going to be a vest thing. It depends how much yarn I've got. I've got a whole ball of black and red, and then half of a black and red. Uh, yeah, so I don't really know how much I'm going to have to do all of this, but. We'll work it out. Also went to see Willy Wonka, the Wonka film in, uh, in the cinema and we went to like the 40x thing where it like shakes you around and oh my gosh one it was hilarious how much you get shaken around in those things but two um now all of the music stuck in my head you know what i mean it just happens chocolate it's happening it's just in my head all the time what right Okay, so that's what it looks like at the moment. I don't know if you can actually see it. <laughs> and also, I'm stuck on the arm. It's on my foot. I made this for Robbie. How cute is that? Little, I had like leftover yarn that I was making stuff with and now um, I've got to do a little bit of seaming still in some areas that's a little bit like loose on the colour work, but I think it's pretty cute, right? It's cute. Right, so now that I'm, I mean I've got the whole day so I'm, I can eat coffee bacon again. Um, so I'm gonna pack. I'm packing, ready to go on to my babies. So excited to see them. So I'm gonna get everything ready because I've got to fly home tomorrow to London, pick up my bag and then go to Heathrow. I'm flying into city, then flying out of Heathrow. So yeah, I just need to get home, grab my bags and hope that there's no delays because otherwise I'm just gonna go straight to Heathrow and I'm not even gonna go bother going home to go and collect my bags because I just wanna go home. I wanna go home. And how cute are these little things? Look at these, a lady called Fiona from KTV Designs brought them to me at the pool and look, I've got one for Robbie as well that from when he was born. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Something to put in his room, a little keepsake. I mean, I love it. I think it's so adorable. So that is coming home with me too. But I'm just laying out all of the stuff that I need to pack because I didn't actually bring like a hand luggage bag with me because I didn't have one because I've taken most of them to LA and then I didn't bring one back this time for some reason because I thought I had more than I did. Um, so I'm just packing everything up because then when I get back I've got to put my use my diving bag as my hand luggage so as long as everything's like pretty much ready to go I'll be able to quickly pack it up and get it out you know. So uh, what, am I actually, what actually do I have to wear tomorrow on the way home? Well, these are bright, aren't they? These bright underwear. Um, oh my gosh, am I going to have to wear them tomorrow? Are they the only ones I've got? <gasps> okay, well, I'm wearing bright underwear tomorrow. Jeez, they're like a bit skimpy, they are. Look at my neck. <laughs> oh, I've got these ones, actually. These ones are nice. These are comfy. Yeah, I'm a brief sky. Don't know what that says about me. I'm all gay. But <laughs> I like briefs. They're comfy. That's what I'm used to, you know. Mmm. Okay, right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and start packing this. But I might be going out for dinner tonight, and if I do go out for dinner, I'm gonna wear this. So I'll leave that on my pillow. Actually, I won't leave it on my pillow, I'll leave it over here. Um, okay, then I need to pack these little things up. And the hangers are adorable too. Right, okay. So we've got the big brother t-shirt, and the little brother t-shirt. 
And what did you go? But I think tomorrow on the way home I'm going to have to wear another Dive London t-shirt. Basically what I'm wearing today, but I've got two of them to head home. Okay, so I'm going to wear this home plus my what I'm wearing plus some socks. Shall I wear these socks? Because those socks will go there for tonight. Those pants will go there for tonight. Okay, these can go be ready to be packed. Right, all this is laundry. Going right in here. Stuffing that to the bottom of my knitting bag, my hand luggage bag. Like that one goes down in there. I might put the hangers in here too, because this might be the best place to put it. Okay. Um, socks. Let me go and get the other thing. Right. This is my the knit jumper that I made. I need to get the other thing. Right, okay. Got my collagen, protein, creatine. I need to take these pills actually. Oh, actually so I need to take those. Right, that'll be there. These can go in here. <clears throat> One, two, three, and then I'll put my other stuff in there later. Hmm, in fact, I've done this wrong. My dirty stuff should go in my diving bag because then that way, if it gets wet from my chamois and stuff, it's not gonna matter. Okay, so that's gonna go down there into a little pile that will go into my diving bag later. The clean stuff, however, can go in here. Because, oh no. Yeah, because the clean stuff is clean, obviously. Clean stuff. Where'd that jumper go? Because that is clean. So it's going to go in the clean bag. Okay, okay. This can go in the training bag. When, when I have space, this is what I'm wearing later because I've got to go to the pool and wear my tracksuit. This can go in my hand luggage in the back section. Mm. Oh, it's not gonna fit. Oh yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Okay, well then that's gonna have to go in that bag as well. Okay. Right, I think that's all I can pack for now. So, yeah, I think that's it. Well, that did, well, didn't really leave a dent. Hmm. Well, it's all for now. <laughs> Right, it's already kind of dark. Christmas party in the jungle gym, but we made it to the pool and now it's time to get ready for competition. Don't really know how this is all gonna go, but it's going anyway. Just finished diving warm up. And now it's time to compete. I'm scared. <laughs> We did it, we finished the competition, and I mean, we won. So, so I'm just talking to myself, thank you. Um, we won, and um, I mean, we were the only British team, well, actually there was a British team and a Scottish team, and we won the English title, they won the Scottish title. So, you know, it was great. Um, but yeah, so I guess that means we had one dive and that was a little bit dodgy, but other than that, it was pretty all right. So, next one's in Qatar. In the show. Just like that, 
We're leaving rainy, cold Scotland and we're heading back to London. Well, I'm heading back to London and then to LA, but that was that. I can see my babies! 